Hey guys, Masainella here, and welcome to the finale of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we took on round one of Bowser's Battle. And then I went off to go take a nap, you know. <laughs> Plumber needs his sleep. So, Bowser's been waiting for quite a while now. Sorry, Bowser. You know how it is. Gotta prevent those eye bags. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's finally time for the final showdown. Make sure you're well prepared, well stocked on items, and your badges are all straight. And speaking of which, I did change a couple of things around. For one, I got rid of Dizzy Stomp because that will not be helpful here. I also got rid of the Danger Badges because I just didn't really think I would get that low on HP. Knock on wood. And instead, I got myself Mega Jump. Mainly because if he gets rid of my hammer, then I would be pretty much out of luck. So we have one jump attack and one hammer attack. Not going for power, for power bounce because, again, I kind of suck at it. And plus, defense. So that's where we're at right now. And with that... We're ready. It's time to head through the door and cross the bridge. The last few steps until the end of our adventure. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare! You should thank me, Mario, since you've been my rival for so long. I've arranged a special arena for your defeat! Gwaa! -ah -ah! Like it? You're completely trapped! How does it feel, huh? Mario, be careful! <laughs> you fell right into our trap! And you call yourself a hero? Did you think we were foolish enough to just sit back and watch as you save the star spirits? I've put together a little surprise for you. A device that increases Bowser's power! King Bowser will be so powerful that not even the power of the star spirits can compare. He'll now truly be invincible, thanks to my wisdom. Are you ready, my king? Then power up! Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh, Ken Koopa, that was incredible! I feel like I'm exploding with power! Now I'll be able to squash this cheeky plumber. Hey, you, Mario! It's not going to be like before, you mustached loser! Prepare to be beaten! We'll just have to see about that now, won't we? Okay, it's time. He's a different Bowser now, so of course it's time for Goombario to do his thing. Tell him! It's the evil King Bowser! Uh, I think he got bigger. That's not a good sign. Max HP 99, defense power 2. He has a huge arsenal of blah, 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 blah. We already heard that. Fire attack 10. Stamp attack slash nail attack is 8. So he essentially got an attack boost of 2. I'm sure he has other attacks that I don't know. Kami Koopa's mysterious device has somehow beefed up his power even more. That's hardly fair. You should use that star beam whenever he uses a star rod to increase his power. Oh. You already knew that? You, well, yeah, that's kind of been the point this entire time. <laughs> All right, so he is a different Bowser now, so we're gonna go ahead and use our Mega Smash. Boom! He has one more point of defense, so now we do nine and merge! All right, well, as you can see, his nail attack has a power, or power poison element to it. That is where Feeling Fine comes in. It's super helpful in evading that attack, so now we don't have to worry about being poisoned in this. That would be a huge deal 
if it weren't for that badge. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull out Watt because, well, again, defense. So, come on, let's do this. Uh, 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 uh. Time to increase my power with my good old star rod. There he goes again, doing his thing, becoming all sparkly for camera. And now, if we go ahead and use our star beam, let's remove his buffs. Come forth, star spirits, and do your duty. You guys suck. <laughs> Gah ha 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 You idiot! That weak attack doesn't affect me anymore! Oh no, we're in trouble! The star beam doesn't work? Oh, that bad monster is gonna beat us up now for sure! Oh no, brave Mario! What can I do? The way things are going, Bowser will surely defeat him! Somebody, please, help Mario! Why do you have to constantly run your mouth? Keep quiet! Twink to the rescue! <laughs> oh, Princess Peach, are you alright? I'll get you out of those ropes. I love how Cammy's just like laying there. Twink, I'm so glad you're okay. You insolent little star kid! How dare you! You little whippersnapper! You're too young to fight me! I... I... I'm not afraid of you! Oh, be careful, Twink! And enter! Twink's battle! Let's fight Kami Koopa with all we've got! Man, these stars really don't know how to fight. <laughs> Did I just feel a breeze? Was that really your attack? Now, what's really cool is that Peach can use focus. Oh, Twink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh. Nice. Nice. Thankfully, he does not have an HP counter, so that's good. And he does one damage now. Oh, why you little? So you can fight a little. Focus again. Send all of her hopes and dreams into this little star. One more time. Two damage now. Dash into her face. Two damage back. Meow! What's going on? Why does it seem like this star kid's getting stronger? You know, if she were smart, she would aim for the princess. Just saying. That would probably work a little bit more. Here we go again. One more block. Now one damage. And here we go. I think we know where this is going. Three damage! Basically, like a mini slugfest. <laughs> there we go. Power him up again. See, how much do you want to bet that this is gonna hurt? Aha! Nothing. It, it can't be. My attacks don't work. Oh, oh no! Now I remember. The stars get all of their power from ordinary people's wishes. Peach's wishes are giving that little star kid power! And here we go! Three, two, one, go! Oh, King Bowser, I have failed you! Oh yes! We did it, Twink! Now we must save Mario! But what can I do? I know, Princess Peach, make a wish! Just like you did for me. Make a wish to give more power to the star spirits. Think of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, Mario. Make a wish to the stars, thinking of all of those things. If your wish is strong enough, it will reach the star spirits and give them strength. Okay, Twink, I'll try. 
I'll go help Mario. Whoa! Uh, 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 uh. What's the matter, Mario? Feeling a bit under the weather? You ought to work out more. Oh my, I feel power flooding into me. Honorable star spirits, I'll do what I can to help. Twink, what a surprise. I feel the wishes of Princess Peach and all in the Mushroom Kingdom are giving us power. Perhaps now we can match Bowser's strength. Now, Mario, don't give up. Everyone's behind you. Receive our power and do your very best. Power up the star beam! Star beam has been upgraded. It's now Peach Beam. Mario can now use Peach Beam! Wha what's going on? Mario, are you still standing? You should just give up. You'll never beat me. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! You wanna bet on that? Let's go ahead and take... Peach Beam. I'm so sorry, but that's like the lamest thing. Uh, I like Star Beam better. Sorry, game. I know, it's supposed to be dramatic, but like... Peach Beam? I do love how Twink's in there now. That's so adorable. Huh? You've gotta be kidding me. My Star Rod power's gone. Oh boy. Here we go. It's time to whoop him. Okay, fire! And nope. That is so hard to time. I've only been able to dodge that a handful of times. It's super difficult. There go, nine damage. And then, uh, you know what? We haven't seen Lackalester in a while. Let's use him to use Cloud Nine. Bowser does a lot of damage, and if I can only dodge, like, maybe one or two, that would be super helpful. So let's see if we can get him to miss. Whoop! Ha ha! You betcha! All right, that works. Let's do another Mega Smash. Bam! Now switch back out for what does the most damage with his defense? Uh, Electro Dash. We go touch his forehead with our electric power. This battle's not over yet. And now he heals 30 health as opposed to 20. That kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so we're still in this though. Hit him with that. I kind of wish I had a little bit higher damaging things other than just Watts, Watts um, regular attack. Oh, that, ooh, that kind of bites. Ah, uh, sorry, Watt, that that sucks for you. All right, so, uh, no, not Mega Jump. Let's do Mega Smash. Boom! And we just have to keep chipping away at him. Uh, what else? What, what do you have? Oh, he's just powering up again. And Cloud9 has worn, has worn off. That's unfortunate. Which calls for another Peach Beam! Shine the glory of Peach onto his head. Okay, well, I guess, I guess no snappy comeback this time. <laughs> oh boy! Oop. Nope, can't time that. I have such a hard time with that attack. It's so unfortunate. I wish I didn't. Uh, I kind of wonder if Chill Out works on it. I kind of wonder. I'm gonna try. I have never tried to use Chill Out on Bowser before, but I've been using it a lot throughout this Let's Play. So let's see. Does it do anything? It does! Wow! Okay. Good to know. Five damage. Awesome. All right, uh, well, let's do another lackluster thing. Uh, Cloud9, let's go. 
One, two, three. Yeah! Okay, now Mega Smash. All right, and oh, hello, Merle. Thank you. If he misses, though, I swear if this misses, okay, it didn't. For once, I'm like actually kind of happy that he didn't miss. <laughs> that feels like super backwards. All right, uh, we're kind of running low on health, so I'm gonna pop our first Ultra Shroom of the game. Nom that Ultra Shroom, it tastes delicious. Okay, so now we're all healed up. Uh, let's see, I guess, I suppose. I mean, I want to use other party members, but Watt just is so reliable against things with defense. It's kind of unfortunate. Not that I dislike Watt. I love Watt with a passion, but still. And he healed again! Nice. I think he can only heal up to three times, maybe? I'm wanting to say it's three. I know that there is some limit, but I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Okay, touch his forehead. What's it gonna be? Okay, he just powered himself back up. Okay, uh, one more turn of that. Uh, Peach Beam. I remember on my first playthrough, I actually, like, forgot to, to use Peach Beam at some point. And, oh boy, the damage you take is no joke. It's really bad, so make sure you do not forget and just, like, accidentally mash an attack with Mario. Because once you use it, you're in for it. Oh boy, here we go. Another heal? Really? For real? That kind of sucks. Alright, uh, you know what? Since, since we're doing all the healing here, I might as well... Well, you know what? No, I have one more attack. I should burn it. There we go, nine damage again. Okay, touch his forehead. I actually dodged that! How in the world? I have never actually dodged that before. I'm super proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself right now. Uh, it's unfortunate because I can't actually use Watt anymore, or anyone else for that matter. But it's time for a damage jelly. Hopefully I have better luck with dodging other things like the fire. Or this, for that matter, yes! Nice! Nice! I'm getting the hang of this timing. This is probably the best time I've had with timing dodging in a long time. It's a little bit sad. Uh, okay, he's just gonna do that. So, Peach Beam it is. Peach Beam! I'm so glad that Peach Beam does not require star power. Can you imagine? if it required star power, and it were like a pseudo time limit. You have to beat him before he uses that attack too many times. Merle again? In the same? Wow! And of course. Sorry, Watt. <laughs> Poor Watt, he's just getting like beaten down on, or she, rather. We had that discussion. Uh, one, two, three, boom! Okay. Boop. Nope. No luck there. Okay. I'm kind of. I'm kind of curious. How much does Mega Jump do? Uh, nine damage as well. All right. That's not terrible. I suppose. All right. That was some hefty damage. Now it's time to heal up again. I could use Smooch, but I'm already like. I don't know. I prefer to save my star power just in case. He should be, like, dwindling down by now. He's at 41, so it's not terrible. Peach Beam! Go! My... I almost said minions, but they're not really minions. But my stars. That's better than servants or minions. That would be kind of bad. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Another Electro Dash! 
go. Hoop! Nope! Ha! Ah! A little bit sooner. I'm doing it too late. That's what it is. Mega smash. Hammer his toe! Uh... I don't wonder if it would be worth it to, like, superpower Goombario. Probably not at this point, because he's already semi-low on HP. I probably could have done that, like, early on, though. But then again, Bowser does have that attack that harms your party member. Speaking of which, thank you for demonstrating what I was talking about, Bowser. That really helps. Okay, just a couple more hits and he should go down. Nine. Uh-oh. Whoop! Yes! Look at that! Look at that timing! I'm somehow doing this. I am somehow doing this. Look at that, guys. And I didn't dodge that one. But it doesn't matter. Are you guys ready? The last attack of the game. And Watt's spending it on the ground. <laughs> Mario defeated me again. He always defeats me. This time I became invincible and I still couldn't beat him. Darn it! You took back the Star Rod. Save me. Thank you, Mario. Whoa, huh? I'm awake, huh? What's going on? This isn't a part of my plan. Yo, Cammy Koopa, what's with all the shaking? Ah. Your kingship? The battle with Mario was so intense that my device for increasing your power seems to have started malfunctioning. Uh, it's entirely screwed up, and its power appears to be heading back into your castle. I hate to tell you this, but both your castle and this spot right here are about to explode. We must flee, eat my evil king. We have no choice. What? Are you really? That's a big problem. Let's get out of here, right? Huh? Oh! Oh, Mario, thank you. You did it. You brought back our precious Star Rod. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We will use it to bring peace back to this world. Now I'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All of this is thanks to you, Mario. When you look at the night sky, you'll know that the glittering stars are praising you for your courage. Look upon their bright light and remember our thanks. You really took it to Bowser Mario, really sucked it to him. What impressive strength. I knew you could do it. 
Mario, don't think we don't know how hard you worked for all of us. It must have been difficult. We won't forget your efforts. I hope Bowser learned something from all this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Although I'd say the chances of that are pretty slim. Oh well. No words can express completely how thankful we are for all that you've done. Hope has returned, both to Star Haven and to all of the Mushroom Kingdom. We're in your debt, Mario. And Twink, may I say, you really rose to the occasion. You've proven yourself to be a grown-up star. <laughs> Aw, go on. Well, I think it's time we return to Star Haven. All of the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye for now, Mario. May the stars forever shine brightly upon you. Mario, I'd like to thank you too. And Princess Peach, it was an honor to help you in your time of need. I hope maybe to see you again sometime. For now, I'm going to become a respectable star and make people's wishes come true. Thank you so much for helping me, Twink. You've always been a stellar friend to me. Princess Peach. I, I, well, no, never mind. I have to go too. Thank you very much, Mario. I'll always remember you, Princess Peach. Goodbye. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the star rod back from Bowser. It seems like another wild adventures in the books, of bro. The castle's back in its normal place, and everyone's returned to home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always do. I know you've been back for days now, but I'll bet that you still kind of feel like you're on an adventure, don't you? That uh, reminds me. The pals who traveled with you. I wonder what they're up to now. Boombavio! Hey, Paracarry, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Ha <laughs> ha I sure am. This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Goombario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Whoa! What's she writing to me for? Read it and find out. I've got to deliver more letters. Thanks, Paracarry. See ya. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. Hey, Goombario. What did Princess Peach write in her letter? Let me see. Hang on, Goombario. Keepers! This is an invitation to a party at the castle! It says the princess is having a party and I'm invited to go have fun! Whoa, whoa, whoa!
Now then, gentlemen. It's time to scale the frosty heights to the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place front to back. Cooper! Huh? Paracarry? What brings you here? Phew! I finally made it! I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. Oh! Oh wow! This is an invitation to a huge party at Princess Peach's castle! It's directly from the princess herself! It's got her signature on it and everything! Cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big! But... But I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, poppycock! Balderdash! Don't be daft, dear boy! Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite! This is a golden opportunity! Go to the party this instant! Don't spare me another thought! It would ruin the party if the hero of Koopa Village, nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom wasn't even there! Huh. I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado! You're so kind and generous! I'll do it! I hope you guys will be alright without me! I'm gonna party! Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home, you wandering buffoon! What a no-good husband! That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you set out on this ex expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious! <laughs> oh, good gracious! p p p Paracary, why in the world didn't you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy! I must... I must, I must away back home with all due speed. I guess they get the day off. <laughs> ah, did you hear something outside? I think I did. I'll go take a quicker look. Hey, bro, guess what? Better carry stop by to drop off a party invitation from Princess Peach. He said that he's also invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd see us at the castle when we arrived. Now, we'd better go too. Who said you were invited, Luigi? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Luigi is always, always invited in my heart. <laughs> And now, this is really cool. Okay, listen Mario, I'm just going to run ahead. There's something important that I have to do. What is it? Sorry bro, it's top secret. Oh ho ho ho, oh ho ho ho, does he have a secret admirer slash someone he admires? <laughs> I love this. After you beat Bowser, you can go around Toad Town and talk to everyone. You can talk to the Toads, uh, the Vile Bowser had- Mario who has defeated the Vile Bowser has just arrived. Yeah, 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 yeah! Let's hear it from Mario! Yeah, let's hear it from me! And I don't know, I love the fact that you are allowed to, like, see everything that all of our work has done. It's just a really nice after- after- bash thing that not a lot of games really do. The kids went ahead with their dear old Goompa. Goombaria is jumping for joy. Dear, dear. <laughs> kids are bundles of energy, aren't they? Oh, hello, Mario. I've never been to a party at the castle before. I'm petrified. It's really... Oh, dear. I'm so nervous. Do I look okay? I just arrived at Toad Town. What a long walk. I've been taking a little rest. Goompa must be feeling spry. He went ahead with the grandkids already. Oh, boy. Good old Goompa. So, you can go around Toad Town to your heart's content. But the main important thing that I want to hit in this episode is actually back here. If we head up these stairs and go to the back room, there's something waiting for us. Let me see. We do not have any new mail, but 
If we head down here, there's two new Luigi Diary entries. When I looked up at the sky tonight, I saw a shooting star arcing across the sky toward Princess Peach's castle. I made a wish to the stars right away, but I wonder if it will really be granted. What I wished was... I can't write it even though this is a secret diary! Ah, You can see it even, even though I erased it! My wish is to sleep in the top bunk bed. <laughs> My heart! My wish is to sleep in the top bunk bed. <laughs> Why is Luigi precious? Why is he precious? Mario, you had better give him that top bunk. You had better give him that top bunk, or I swear, I swear, you are the biggest jerk on this planet. I heard that my brother finally saved Princess Peach. Bowser increased his, star his power with the star rod, but my brilliant brother beat him anyway. I guess he'll be coming back home pretty soon. I'm looking forward forward to listening to the story of his adventure. Anyway, I'm going to finish this diary for now. I have to seal this room off before he notices that I remodeled without telling him. Now I'm going to go prepare dinner to celebrate Mario's return. Luigi. Ugh! Luigi, you're the true hero of the story. You're the hero of my heart. Why do you make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, Luigi? Aww. Aww. My my pride is wounded because of the the sounds coming out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's take a quick leisurely stroll around Toad Town. Not too much because I don't want to spend too much time on this. But Chuck Quizmo, Quiz! It's your old pal Chuck Quizmo. How'd you like to take part in the quiz game? Nah, just kidding. Let's just enjoy the party. You suck! Okay, <laughs> I just had to get that off. I wish we Toads could have done more than just wish for you. But we followed your progress the whole time. Your efforts really gave us hope. All of Toad Town thanks you. It must have been grueling. Oh, wait! Manatee's here! Hello! Really? Just heart? Okay, I'm totally picturing Manatee actually like doing the heart sign with her hands. Like her little hands. Can you imagine that if, we, if she actually did that? That would be just the cutest. Uh, they're totally back too. Yeah, I heard that too. They had to go right back to work this morning. They've been working all day setting up for the party. It's really great that things worked out okay for everybody. And those three maids brought back lots of souvenirs for, to look at. So I, Felicity, am so happy. Aww. I love strolling through this. Just seeing everyone and... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I swear, Colorado, you are the living end. You're always darting here and there instead of settling down. Mario, would you believe I had to send Paracarry to get him? I'm at the end of my rope. Please talk some sense into him. Greetings, old boy. Here for the festivities at the castle, eh? I can't say I'm terribly excited about it myself. My heart yearns to go to the Crystal Palace, I say. So many mysteries awake me in my dizzling intellect. Oh, the pain of it all. You understand my yearning, don't you, old boy? He has not learned a thing. Learned a thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll make this the last one. This is it. This is it. After this, we're heading to the castle because this is the be-all end all of all people I would want to talk to slash not want to talk to. Who's that? Is it Mario? Why, it's me! Koopa Coot! By the way, where's the castle? I haven't been here, been there for a while and I'm having the darndest time even finding the front door! Who's gonna tell him where the castle actually is? Certainly not me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, hey, Koopa Coot, just, just letting you know that the castle is to the left. Yeah, that, that's the castle. Thumbs up. Good luck. <laughs> and there's even more people here. If I were to talk to everyone, it would take upwards of an hour. Uh, we'll talk to the Yoshis because I love Yoshi. Yoshis are the best. Uh, everything on this shore is so new to me. I wish the other guys could have come along as well. That's kind of sad. 
It looks like today's party will be even better than the last one. Hopefully without the castle getting abducted. Lots of singing and dancing instead of going instead of an earthquake. Oh, it's Mario. I thank you again for everything you did for our village. Hmm? You wonder how I got here? I befriended a strange whale. It ferried me over here. Next time, I'd like to bring the whole village with me. Aw, that's super sweet. If it isn't the nice guy, you made it after all, yes? I, Mustafa, knew all along that you would defeat the evil Bowser. Yes, I did. But you know what? You are an even greater hero than I imagined. That's super sweet. That's really nice. Alright, this is it. Let's head on in. Mario, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach! Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The Star Rod stolen by Bowser has been returned to its rightful place in Star Haven. Peace has once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems that they're sending us their thanks. Mario. Goombario, Cooper, Bombette, Paracarry. Bo, Watt, Sushi, Lackalester. And everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom, we've regained peace because of all your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come. Perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt wish. So, let's celebrate! Enjoy the festivities, everyone! this moment right now. He's leading the parade. Ugh. Ugh. My heart, my heart just can't. <laughs> well, that wraps up Paper Mario. Now we get to see everyone on the floats. Look at them. That's so adorable. That is so cute. I love Cooper. He's just like waving. Waving to everyone. <sighs> I love this parade. I like to imagine it just like after everyone got their fill of food and their fill of dancing and everything. They just joined in on this massive parade. I can just imagine it. It's one of the most charming things. Oh boy. What a ride this was. What a ride. Paper Mario is one of those games that I'll always, always remember fondly. Granted, I was really intimidated by this game at first, because I'm not really the biggest Paper Mario expert. I try the best that I can, and I feel like I have some pretty decent strategies, but I'm by no means, like, super amazing at it, so I was always kind of really iffy about whether or not to cover it. And in the end, I'm really glad that I did. Also, I really like how the ocean is moving with the parade. <laughs> Somehow, some, I don't know, shrugs. I'll just shrug at that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It Paper Mario really brings back a lot of fond memories of my childhood. I, I remember the first time I played through Paper Mario, it was on a Blockbuster cartridge. And on this Blockbuster cartridge, I played through so far in the game. But by the time I got like, I think three fourths through, I had to return it because you know Blockbuster, you have to return the games, right? <laughs> Remember when Blockbuster was even a thing? To you kitties out there who weren't around for Blockbuster, it was a, pretty much a movie slash game renting place 
but it's out of business now because Netflix. But I rented it from Blockbuster and then I returned it. The following week, I went back to that Blockbuster determined to beat this game. So I rented it again with every intention of playing through from the beginning. And then when I booted it up, it still had my file. The cartridge that I got from Blockbuster a week later was the exact cartridge that I was playing on beforehand. And I was so ecstatic. I was so happy and so amazed. I just remember shrieking at the top of my lungs and running and jumping around. And me, I was not a vocal kid. I'm, I was not vocal at all. I, I just, it wasn't me. But I will never forget the excitement that I felt since that day. Like, I will never forget that. Just how happy I was that I got my first file back. And you know what? I still have that cartridge to this day. <laughs> I never brought it back. That was at the tail end of like the blockbuster that was close to me being around and I just kept it. Blockbuster went out of business and the building disappeared so it was mine and now I have that memory with me forever and I don't know it, it makes me smile every time I play this game to know that I still have my original file from way back when. I don't know that's my personal little story and my personal little memory with this game. I, I tell it once in a while, and I might have mentioned it to a few of you in the past. <gasps> Junior Trappa! And he's having a magic battle! <gasps> Go, Troopa! <laughs> you deserve a win. You really do. <laughs> but anyway. I don't know. I'm just... I'm re it, it really does bring me such happy feelings. And just makes me smile every single time. <laughs> Guess who's not smiling right now? Oh, nobody's smiling. <laughs> That's perfect. That was the perfect end. And now, for the nighttime version. Oop, 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 no. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that, I forgot that screen saving is a thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, well, I'm really happy that I finally got to share this game with you guys after so long. This is probably really overdue because I feel like this is a game that I probably should have covered so long ago because of how much of a how much of a part of my childhood it was and just the good memories that I have with this game. I wanted to thank you guys for coming along with me for the ride. It really was just the biggest pleasure and I hope it was for you too. I'm gonna miss this. I'm, I really am. This is this game is just a joy to play and a joy to present. Well, with that being said, I think I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the credits, and I will see you in my next project. Thank you again for watching, and for the final time, in let's play Paper Mario. The Sainella out.